Hello everybody and welcome to Red Dead Redemption and the Amped Gaming Valentine's Day Special. Why is this the Valentine's Day Special, you might ask? Because I'm lonely and um... Yeah, no, but this is my favorite game of all time, and this is how I'm celebrating Valentine's Day. I know, it's sad, whatever, let's move on. So this is Red Dead Redemption, this was developed by Rockstar Games, you might know them from Grand Theft Auto, and uh, L.A. Noir. if anyone played L.A. Noir, I actually bought this instead of L.A. Noir during a Rockstar Super Sale, um, that is one of the best decisions I've ever made, because this is a great great game it's um it's a western and it borrows a lot from movies like the good the bad and the ugly which i just saw on thursday night i watched the good the bad and the ugly and i didn't put it on until about nine o'clock at night and uh as a result it was uh you know, midnight when it ended. I was beyond tired. Now, you might want to watch this video. So, alright. Before we do anything, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to spoil the ending of Red Dead Redemption. Okay? I'm going to spoil the ending of Red Dead Redemption. So, if you don't want to hear it, just skip forward about two minutes. I won't talk about it for the rest of the episode, and if I do, I will warn you. Um, okay. So, at the end of Red Dead Redemption, this is this is when you should skip forward. Alright, anyone that, that didn't skip, you're still here. Alright, so Red Dead Redemption, at the end, the main character, John Marston, dies. And it's incredibly sad. It's... A really really sad sad ending so the end of the game in the in the end game when you can go around the open world which is what we're doing now you play as his son Jack Marston so for those of you that are still here uh, I I have the bandana up so the other people hopefully don't recognize the difference I mean you can still hear the voice but hopefully they'll just be a little confused um, but I very much recommend that you play Red Dead Redemption. And now, hopefully, they've, you know, they've skipped forward, they've all come back. And now, let's play Red Dead Redemption. So, this is a western. Oh, right off the bat. Alright, this is a fort. We're actually in Mexico right now. Right, we're gonna take down this fort. We're gonna take this place down. It's gonna be awesome. As you can tell, these graphics are absolutely incredible. Okay, now, this is Deadeye. And I've been killed. You die really easy. Now, the controls can be a bit clunky when you're running, but I can forgive this game for that easily, because this is... The story, just everything about this game is absolutely fantastic. There is one problem I have, and that's that you need to pause to go to the map, uh, which gets annoying. Alright, so we're gonna go to Tessero Azul. Um with my double action revolver uh you have a weapon wheel so you start off I'll, t I'll show you so you start off with the cattleman revolver you get the schoenfeld and then the double act the double action get last there's the mauser which is full auto high power which is a handgun uh the volcanic which is a, a lever action and then the semi-automatic i like to use the that the the schoenfeld no, no, the double action, because it just feels more like a western. You have your knife, then hey, you got shotguns. You have your sawed-off shotgun, double barrel shotgun, semi-auto shotgun, pump action shotgun. I like to use the semi-auto, even though the double barrel is more western. Then you have the Carcano rifle, rolling rock rifle. Carcano is just better. Repeaters, there's a ton. 
You have the Carbine, the Winchester, the Henry, the Springfield Rifle, which is not that good. Bolt Action Rifle, which is pretty good. And then the Evans Repeater, which is what I like. You have your Fists, the Lasso, and then your Throwables, which are Throwing Knives, Fire Bottles, and Sticks of Dynamite. I'm going to have out some Dynamite Sticks. Um, but let's, let, let's take these guys down. So basically, there are moments when you'll want to just do the the doo -doo -doo, wow 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 thing from the good the bad and the ugly because it's awesome um so for those of you that are all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna run over here go to the front the only problem is like this is basically my main thing is you have to mash a to sprint, you can hold A to run, but let's face it, you want to be sprinting. This is the Wild West. So you can get into these awesome shootouts. Enemies go down pretty easy, but so do you. Let me show you how it's done. Right, and then of course we have Dead Eye. How do you like that? Which is just awesome. Your health regenerates like it's Call of Duty. Uh, again, it's forgivable. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to run, take cover. And now we get into these western shootouts. Oh, it's just, it's so much fun. Look what we're gonna do. Shoot the gun out of his hand. So yeah, you can just slide around, it's awesome. So yeah, I mean if you get shot, you can just kinda chill. So you are pretty much invincible unless they're up close with a shotgun, in which case you're probably going to die. Let's get out a sniper rifle and go into dead eye. Alright, let's see. Boom. Snipers are insanely overpowered. Uh, it's a violent game, by the way. I mean, it's not Spec Ops The Line, but it's still a pretty violent game. Like, blood smears on walls and stuff, which is always a really good effect in shooters. It just makes it feel more real. Uh, if you have a shotgun, the enemy's head will explode if you shoot them with it. Alright, so uh, that was one of the leaders. Alright, so as I said, we're in Mexico, so everyone's speaking Spanish. Alright, rescue the deputy by killing the gang leader. So now we gotta go and kill the gang leader. See, there's an option to, like, push open the door. Getting through doors can be a struggle. See, so you rescued the deputy. You just stand there like a total beast. So these bases randomly respawn. It's kind of like the outposts in Far Cry. But they're not as useful. They're kind of just there so you can take them out. You get some money for it. It's just, it's awesome. Now, I like to wear the duster coat just because it's cool. The duster is my favorite. Come on, horsey, I'm over here. 
Um, the this is the Warhorse. The Warhorse is actually DLC, but I didn't- I never bought it. Like, if I take out my Cattleman Revolver, it's gold, but I never- I never bought it. So, I don't know. I got a bunch of free DLC for- for literally no reason. So, we're gonna go to our map. We're gonna see. So, there's Chuparosa. Uh... Yes, Coronas. Yeah, the map is huge. It might not look that big, but trust me, it's gigantic. So this is Mexico here. This whole thing. This is, uh, I'm going to guess the Rio Grande because it separates us. You know, it's the border. We have Rio Bravo, Gaptooth Ridge, uh, Chala Springs. Armadillo is like the main town. Uh, Hennigan Stead, McFarland's Ranch, uh, Thieves Landing, which is kind of like the piece of crap town, and then you have up here, Tall Trees and Great Plains, and that's where you have Blackwater, which is kind of the, the rich place, it's where all the, the wealthy people live. Now, I know if we zoom in, there's a base at Tumbleweed, and I know that there's one up here, it's not Ratskell or Fork, though. It's, uh, it might be Twin Rocks. It might be this. I'm thinking it's that. I think it's Twin Rocks. Um, and sometimes you can find graveyards and it feels like you are in the good, the bad, and the ugly. But I, all right, what we're going to do, we're going to go do Fort Mercer. So let's go take out Fort Mercer on my horse. We're basically just going to be taking out, um... Okay. Gotta go down slowly. You do take a lot of damage, and your horses will die. As you can tell, um... So, alright, the HUD in this game is pretty simple. You basically just have your mini-map and your crosshairs. Oh, God. Okay. Stuff like that will just happen. Like, people's horses will get stolen and you can help them. But, I mean, this guy's pretty self-sufficient. He just, um... Ju he shot the guy right off his horse. So, like I said, it's a violent game. And this is one of... I think that this is other than Red Dead Revolver, which was... This is actually a sequel. But you don't need to play Red Dead Revolver first. It's just another Rockstar game that was kind of met with mixed reviews. Uh, I think, I forget when that came out. It might have been 2006. This came out in 2010. And is easily the best game of the year. Even though we had some great games in 2010, like Just Cause 2 came out, which was awesome. The first Darksiders game came out, which was great. Heavy Rain came out, which I haven't played. I don't have a PlayStation, but if I had a PlayStation, I would have played Heavy Rain. Uh, Mass Effect 2 came out, I'm pretty sure. I forget if Borderlands came out that year or in 2009, but 2010 was a pretty good year. Uh, oh, Halo Reach and uh, COD Black Ops came out. But nothing compared to Red Dead Redemption. It's just such, such a good game. And I had considered Arkham City my favorite game for so long, and then I was like, alright, Bioshock Infinite, definitely my second favorite, and then I had to bump them all down, because... Okay, I don't know if I've told you about the summer of 2014 for me. It basically started off, it was the last, like, two or three weeks of school, and Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon was on sale for, like, three dollars, so I bought it. I, I played Blood Dragon before I played Far Cry 3, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, Far Cry Hipster. Woo. Ooh, gunfire. What are you doing? Oh, he's hunting deer. Okay, excuse me. Now this game actually has an honor system, which I will explain later. But let me finish my story. So Let's go. Let's go. I played Blood Dra er, Blood Dragon, and then I got Far Cry 3 for like twenty to uh, twenty dollars. 
I played that for a while. I beat the story. I really, really had a lot of fun with it. I'm stuck in a tree. Hold on. Come on. There we go. Let's go. So, back to what I was Work saying. I played Far Cry 3, and then... I had bought Red Dead Redemption previously, but my game kind of glitched out. So... I never really finished it. Right, meet the gunslinger by the wall. So, I decided to start a new game, and that was just my summer from that point on. I just... I fell in love with this game. Also, for some reason, um, it might be because I skipped a section of the game. If you fail or die too many times, the game will let you skip a section. Hey, my name is Leon. Can you help me get into the fort? Are you a, a professional? As a hideout, and there's a lot of stolen money. We should be able to get in over that wall. You look stronger than me. Climb over it, and then find a way to let me in. Out of my way! Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. Gotta interact with this guy. So, actually, somewhat realistic. That was close. You stupid. All right, this is cool because it's kind of a multi-layered thing. But I just I loved Red Dead Redemption, and it's actually this is actually how I celebrated my birthday. I played this and saw Donna or Rise of the Planet of No. Yeah, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. No, Dawn. The one that came out in 2014. No, it was definitely Dawn. Here, I'll, I'll show you some other weapons. Uh, not that. Alright, we'll use a repeater. Oh, no, you don't. Alright, so that's a repeater. I'll show you guys the bolt action rifle. Cause this thing is cool. I literally once just took out this base by just throwing throwing knives into uh What does Cabron mean? Oh, get wrecked, nerd. Alright, and now... What was your hat doing there, friend? Alright. Now, right, I am going to show you guys the throwing knives. Is this how you treat all your guests? You suck. Right, I need to get like a headshot with the throwing knife. Otherwise, it doesn't really work as well. There is actually one part where you have to be sneaky, you're actually hijacking a train. Alright, ready? Get wrecked. And they don't have that much range if you haven't noticed. 
Oh, you know what? Let me show you a guy's face explode in slow motion. Ready? Whoa, dude, come on. What should we use on him? Oh, I have an idea. Let's use the Mauser. Alright, ready? This, so this is a little something that you can do with Deadeye. <gasps> and you can just dissolve them completely. Come on, buddy. Uh, I wanna. I do wanna show you something that you can do. Yep. I thought I got an achievement. Oh, I have to let the guy in. Really, it's just so much more fun to, to kill everyone yourself. Thank you. Now come on. This guy will knock you up without a fight. Yeah, I killed them all for you, sorry. Oh yeah, this is literally a handgun. Por Dios. Don't mind me. It looks like these chests are all that is left. You can have whatever is in there. I will look around for what I need. Okay, cool. So, you basically just get a ton of money. If you guys haven't seen it, go see The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. It really is an awesome movie. It's long, though. I can only find the, uh, redubbed extended edition. So, it wasn't as good. The extended edition, it's three hours long. So it's long, but I mean, I've seen longer. The thing is, since it's redubbed, the voice doesn't match up to their mouth all the time. And as a result, it gets really annoying. Alright, we're gonna go into Armadillo. Because I have a house there. Yeah, you can you can buy houses, which is good. And I will. You can actually unlock different outfits. One of them Let's is go. DLC. Again, I got it for free, right. and it's called the Deadly Assassin outfit. That's what I played most of the game as. But in the end game, I just wanted to be in the duster. I mean, you could run around in pajamas yeah. if you want, but you know, this this game isn't. There's very little humor. There's like one or two funny characters, but as you might guess, they kind of die. <laughs> um, one of them is Irish, who's, you know, a drunk Irish guy who you need to get you a Gatling gun. Oh, you're, you're kidding. Oh, you're a lawman. No, I just need to run. I didn't mean to hit him. I mean, he's on foot, so... <sighs> Alright, so my, my bounty is fading away. There's not, like, stars, you know? But, you know. And here we are in Armadiller. Whoa now. And hitch. Alright, I have a 
before I do anything, I'm gonna go be a nice person and pay off my bounty. Hello? Okay. Um, did I pay? Tell those thugs to stay away from me. What was that thing with the money? Who who even know? Who cares? Alright, let's go to my room. Uh, in order to save the game, you have to sleep. Yeah, they play the same song in here all the time. Uh... Alright, change outfits. So you got the cowboy outfit, which is the normal clothing. Gentleman's attire. Deadly assassin. You are the most badass gunslinger in the West. Oh, and dead eye regenerates faster. The elegant suit. I don't have that. 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 Or that. Wait. Undiscovered. Duster coat, which is what I wear. Do you, uh, now, if I put on the poncho, I can't wear it. Well, I'm kind of like Clint Eastwood. I'll tell you what. We'll go be Clint Eastwood for a while. But I like the duster. Oh, yeah, you can just kind of hop over. Uh, you can also go hunting in this game if, if you're into that. You can hunt. Alright, let's go to... Twin Rocks. I'm pretty sure that this is a gang hideout. I have no idea how long I've been recording for. So if this is just obscenely long, it's because it's a special video. That's my excuse. I'll tell you what, I'll end it in like another 15 or so minutes. I might just make it two parts because I just want to play Red Dead Redemption. That's what, I'll make it two parts. So we'll do this hideout and then we'll do another hideout. Heads up. Who's next? Alright. Alright, I gotta just heal. This is the high power pistol. can guess it's pretty powerful. Alright, let's snipe this guy, ready? Actually, let's be Clint Eastwood and shoot off his hat. I win. First, in, in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, there's a few scenes where he, um... There's a guy that's about to get hanged. And he shoots the the rope while the guy's sitting on a horse. He shoots the rope. The guy's sitting on a horse. The horse rides away and then he shoots off everyone's hat. Right, let's just reload. Or we'll sneak around. A big mistake by coming here, my friend. Please, please hide. All right, so 
They've captured the rancher's daughter. Those pieces of crap. Hold on. I do really want to say if I can get him from the outside. He's kind of sick with that thing. Play it smart, buddy, and get Get wrecked. It's just that's that's the kind of stuff that goes on in Red Dead Redemption. This is the end game. I've put so much time into this game. It's not even funny. I have $6,000. I'm, I'm loaded. No, I'm, I actually like the poncho, I'm not gonna lie. Although, I'll tell you what. Let's see it without the bandana. Yeah, I like, I, I like that better. This is my horse. Okay, so now... I'm trying to think, what other... Are there any up here? Bear claw cat. The coat. Alright, that's black water right now. Um... I don't think so. Let's go. Maybe Coots Chapel. Alright. Oh, and the sun is setting. No. Alright, hold on. Look at that. I'm gonna stand here for a minute. Just so it becomes the thumbnail. <laughs> just. This is an amazing game. And the voice work is incredible. I'm hoping, you know, it, it'll be in a while, but I hope to do a three-part walkthrough of this game. You know, because it's a long game. This game took even me playing it for, like, a very long time every day. It still took me a while to beat. So I'll probably do three parts. Oh, it's outlaws. Hold up. Stand by and watch him tear up this town. Boom. That's actually pretty rare that outlaws will come running into the town. But you know what? It happens sometimes and I'm I'm not gonna let it I'm not gonna let it slide by. You know? Hey. Oh, alright, so the honor system. This game a bounty! We're taking down a bounty. We're taking on a bounty. It has to happen. Alright, so the honor system. The honor system is basically this. Whenever you kill someone, you lose honor. You well if it's a if it's like a good guy, if you will. You'll lose honor. You want honor because uh, I just accepted it. I don't know what he's wanted for or how evil he is. Alright, it was last seen near Mercer Station. Alright, so he's pretty... Dale Chesson. Right. Just thought I'd say, they recycle the names of uh, the bounty guys. There's like five guys. Like you, I've probably 
hunted down and captured like 10 Dale Chessons at this point. But it's still fun. Just look at that. How can you play this game and tell me it's not cool? I have to end this episode soon, though. Become a nighttime, and that's when the coyotes come out. Alright, so. my horse let's have some fun shall we Can they say youth is wasted on the yard haha <laughs> <laughs> How am I alive? Alright, I killed the bounty. That's not normally something that you want to do. You can capture bounties alive. Which I actually try to do. It's a lot more fun. Because you'll be trying to get back to Armadillo. You know, to, uh, to put him in jail. But then his guys will start chasing you down. So it's this really, really epic chase. And it's just, it's so much fun. Alright, let's go. We're gonna... We're gonna go to the Armadillo Jail. Give him the bounty proof. All will be good in the world. Yeah. We'll go to sleep. What time is it? It is... Alright, it's like 7 p.m. Here, it's like 3.40 p.m., so... I'll, I'll try to have this video uploaded by like 6 o'clock. Oh no, these guys are still gonna try to kill me. Yeah, you know what? Oh, get wrecked. Now they're just trying to avenge their friend's death. Whoa. Something that you might be interested in knowing, if you, um, like, shoot a guy in the foot, they'll just hobble away and they'll still try to escape and then, yeah, so if you're chasing someone down, it might be helpful to shoot them in the foot, the more you know. Right. And so... So ends today's journey. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'm not going to say the next part because I'm holding a controller. And until next time, this is Amped Gaming signing off. And I will see you in the next episode. Peace out.